months. My name is Mitchell Spector, owner of Woodbridge Home Exteriors. I want to thank you for allowing us to serve you for over three decades. During this challenging time, we feel the need to have our frontline employees working from home and with our full financial support. We have closed our showrooms with a flexible reopen date. We're doing everything possible so that our employees have a strong position to come back to. So I've secured an offer that we have never had before, available on every product we sell. Right now, we're offering zero down, zero interest, and zero payments for the next two years. You can call now or make your appointment online today, and we're sure hoping you do. This offer is available through May 31st, so you can get what you need now and pay for it in a couple of years. As a way of supporting other local businesses, we're going to give you a $25 gift certificate to a locally owned restaurant with every new appointment. Our team looks forward to seeing you soon. Live from Dallas and Fort Worth, this is CBS 11 News at 10. The ones for Texas. And off the top at 10, the headlines as more COVID-19 infections and deaths are now reported in North Texas. Dallas County reporting 97 new positive cases, with the county total now over 1,100. Only Harris County and Houston has more, approaching 1,300. In Tarrant County, two more deaths related to coronavirus brings the total now to 11. An elderly man in Fort Worth and a woman in Arlington are the victims of the virus over this weekend. That woman was a resident at Hardest Arlington Assisted Living and Memory Care Home. According to the county, there are now 12 confirmed cases at that facility, 11 residents and one staff member. This afternoon, Denton County reporting its seventh coronavirus-related death. That victim is a man in his 90s. He was a resident at a nursing facility in the city of Louisville. The county reporting now 16 new cases today. And at the Denton State Supported Living Center, 50 residents there have tested positive. That number has not changed over the last few days. However, the number of staff infected has jumped now to 39, including 14 new cases. The president warning the country tonight that the toughest week in this crisis is coming. In the days ahead, America.